hi everyone so i am back with my new tutorial again in this i have created a product modeling hope you all like it and learned something new from this video so please watch this till the end and thank you so at first delete this cube and light and press ctrl h uh, for hiding this now go to add mesh then select a cylinder now keep its vertices on 12 so let's bring our reference image so go to add mesh uh, sorry go to add uh, image then uh, select on reference and from here you can bring your reference image for modeling like this now go to your editing mode by pressing tab and just try to give it that reference image uh, shape as it is like this keep it little up from here like this now press ctrl b for beveling it and drag your mouse and scroll your and scroll it so you can see the difference like this so i'm just maintaining the shape like this now for bottom part also do the same just bevel it like this Now after that go to its topmost part and delete this face uh, like this. Now select uh, this upper vert uh, vertices and press E and Z for moving it in straight path like this. So this much will be okay now press again ctrl b for adding that bend part I means curved part for this like this so as you can see we have completed with a basic model like this now again select this loop cut tool and just add some loop cuts over here for extruding it now press alt e then uh, select extrude face like this so you can extrude it like this as you can see now you can hide this uh, image if you want so here we have completed with its uh, bottle part so add some loop cuts over here over the corners of our model like this uh, give some here then here also like this now for its bottom part uh, go to its face face selection then e and s for extruding it inside then i for inserting it like this now select this hole uh, then again E and S for extruding it like this now add some more loop cuts over here for bringing the hard surface look uh, here if we subdivide it so press ctrl 1 and you can subdivide it like that now again add some loop cuts tool over here as it is requiring or otherwise if you like it like this uh, like that so you can also keep it so here it is and add two loop cuts over here for the leveling part which we will do later on. So here our bottle part is ready. Now select this part press shift D then uh, drag it. Now so separate that from this tube bottle you can say. So once we have separated that level part uh, you can see just... Uh, make it little short from up and down like this so now let's make its tube part means the cap part so for that go to add then select a mesh then select a uv sphere now from here keep its segments on 12 and rings also on 12 so as you can see first of all um, bring it over your model like this now 
and go to your edit mode by pressing tab from your keyboard now delete these faces bottom faces and select these then s for scaling it for making it little bigger now e and z for extruding it like this now press e and s for extruding it like this view it from top view now again e and z so first of all just arrange it properly now again e and z for extruding it downwards like this so as you can see now click these part and just arrange it properly now again control b for beveling like this now add some loop cuts over here and here also for bringing our hard surface cuts uh, for that so here it is you can see now again press control 1 then uh, smooth shade it like this from here so as you can see our model will, will look like this so now go to your solidify now increase its thickness level like this now after you are satisfied with its th thickness level just apply it and then add some segments uh, loop cuts tool for adding that hard surface look like this add some here as you can notice uh, the difference why I am using this loop cuts uh, like this so here our tube part is also done and body was also done now just arrange it properly if you like like this so here it is now once we have finished with it now let's color and texture it so first of all keep it upwards to the grid now let's add a plane from here like this now select this and just we will texture it so go on base color now select image texture and bring your texture image here click on texture and go to your uv editing and from here you can choose your texture over here now again just click on texture like this so you have to arrange it from here like this just select it make it little down bring it little down now scale it little wide just for arranging the texture as you can see in your model like this uh, like this so once we you have completed with that now let's uh, delete uh, half of its uh, level which is not looking good that and that's why so for that go to its editing mode and just delete the half of it press 3 for face selection and just select these parts check whether the parts are selected are correct like this now press delete key from your keyboard and just delete these faces so as you can see as simple as that so you can see we have completed with our level part also which is looking quite nice uh, in that and in UV editing if you want more changes into it you can change or otherwise it will it is all nice like this now let's color its bottle part so for that I will like to give it a dark shade on dark brown color will do great like this as I have seen it in my reference image so I am putting that like this now this tube cap part uh, in 
in grayish blue color like this in dark grayish blue and you can increase its metallic and decrease its roughness part and for the bottle part also just decrease its roughness for getting a cool glass texture like this a shiny effect like this now from for rendering it uh, getting the nice render results add a background texture to it like image uh, environment texture so add one environment texture like this bring a file where you have saved your environment texture so here it is i have this like this and if you look like this our final model uh, is ready so like this so from here you can um, one cycles so this will be a nice render result now you can also change the color of this plane or otherwise you can also keep it of wood or whatever material you like you can keep it so as you can see we have made our model till here now bring your camera now arrange its resolution and everything from here for getting the render results more fantastic like this so as you can see for getting the render results pre press f12 from a keyboard so here it is